So, today's video might be a very, very controversial video, but this is a video that needs to be done. I am probably going to be letting down a lot of people today, but this is something that needs to be said. As a member of the Asian community, I don't watch anime. <laughs> oh, fuck. <laughs> hey guys, it's your boy Jackie, and I'm back with another banger video. And today, if you guys could not tell from the title of the video or the little quick intro that I made, this video is about me not watching anime. So with that being said, cue to the intro. You guys are helping me take one step to get to where I want to be, and I, it's crazy. I, I love and I appreciate every single one of y'all. So before we start today's video, you know what I'm saying? Quick fit check, quick fit check. Shout out to my classmate, Markayla. She gave me these glasses, you know what I'm saying? It goes with the fit, you know what I'm saying? The baby blue and the baby blue. And I'm not gonna lie, I can't see shit right now. I don't have my glasses and I don't have my contacts. So it, I, I, I don't know what I'm looking at. Um, so hopefully I look good and not stupid. And then I'm also wearing this bag. Um, yes, I'm indoors, leave me the fuck alone. But I'm wearing this bag because I bought it. And I think I look cool. Let me know what y'all think, you know what I'm saying? Y'all see it? Y'all see it? Me personally, what was holding me back from buying this bag was because I'm like, I put it on and I was like, damn, I kind of look like I'm fresh off the boat. But, you know, that's not the point. So let me know down below if I look like I'm fresh off the boat with this fit or not. Um, don't hurt my feelings. So, yeah. But with that being said, in today's video, I'm going to be explaining the reason why I never watched anime growing up. And also, I know in the background, you guys can see some sculptures from Demon Slayer. Um, don't mind that, I was just, like, just don't even worry about those, just pretend like those aren't even there. Um, I'm going to talk more about that later in this video, so stay tuned for that. And before we go farther on into this video, I'm going to say this too. Please, please, please do not give me so much hate or any slander because... Everything that's being said in this video is from my personal experience or just my opinion and everyone has their own opinion about different things so I'm not going to be mad if you have different opinions on my opinions because you know we live in America everyone has their own opinions so just please don't give me too much slander or hate because this is just my opinion and yeah just please don't give me too much hate I'm, I'm I don't got the mental power for that I'm, I'm too I'm too um, fragile and um, all the hate comments that I get I cry. But with all that being said, let's finally get started with today's video, and you guys will find out why I don't watch anime. But first things first, let me get rid of these. I can't see shit. Let me put on the old reliable. Finally, I can see. So, let's see. Let's see where this starts back. Let's see when did anime come out? I don't fucking know when anime came out. I feel like anime has been around for a long ass time. And I will say recently it's just been blown up. It's like everyone loves anime now. Those anime conventions. Everyone just loves anime now. But why have I never been into it? That's the question the world may never know. But with that being said, with anime being old, I am just as old. Like, I'm 21. Damn. Yeah, I know. I'm old. Um, so when I was a kid, back in like the 2000s, oh, I was a 2001 baby. Like, let me know down below who else is a 2001 baby. So yeah, so growing up, I was a kid around like the mid, late 2000s. And around that time, all I remember was, like, I used to get bullied for being Asian. Like, I don't know. I, like, that's crazy. I used to get bullied for being Asian. So, long story short, I did everything in my power not to be a stereotypical Asian. Because, let's be real, back then, kids used to be fucking mean. Like, not only towards Asian, just towards everything. Like, back then, I felt like if kids watched anime, people would make fun of them. Like... People be weird, like if people watch Dragon Ball Z, Naruto, because those are the ones that were popping when I was a kid. Um, Avatar The Last Airbender. I, I feel like people were just hating. Like if they found out you watched that, you just got like fucking canceled at the playground. Like, that's crazy. So with that being said, I never wanted to be bullied. I would always wanted to be a cool kid or fit in with the popular kids or whatever. And I was just like, yeah, fuck that. I don't want to watch fucking them Asian fucking little weird shit. Fucking hentai, fucking little anime, fucking cartoons, fucking this shit. Like, I was like, ew. 
Um, so I never really watched anime when I was a kid. Um, the only things that I would say I watched that could count as anime, and do not fucking kill me for this, but would be like Pokemon and Beyblades. But Beyblades was my shit, bro. I'm trying to buy some Beyblades and go 1v1 with random people in public. But stay tuned, that's a video for another day. But with that being said, it was just like, just growing up back then, like just anime, I just felt like just Asian culture used to be so different. Like I remember when like I used to have to bring school lunches and like I'm Asian, bro. So we for the pack Asian food and sometimes Asian food don't smell the best. And people used to make fun of me for that. And it's like, bro, let me fucking eat my food, bro. Like you just mad you gotta eat that fucking nasty school lunch that Michelle Obama ruined. No offense, love you, Obama. But like, you feel me? Like, I don't know, just growing up, I never really wanted to be the stereotypical Asian because the stereotype of Asians is like, oh, good at math, good at school, smart, glasses, nerdy, small p and the list goes on and on. The stereotypes about Asians were just so strong and like me, I never really wanted to be the stereotype. I never really wanted to be known just because of my race. So with that said, it kind of took away from me embracing my culture, me embracing my Malaysian and Taiwanese self. Because you know, if you did not know, my mom's from Taiwan and my dad's from Malaysia. So it took away from that. And it's kind of embarrassing to say now, because like, why was I embarrassed to embrace my culture? But it's just like, back then as a kid, you don't know no better. So it's just like, you know, you try to do stuff to fit in. So that was one main reason why I never really watched anime because just growing up, I was never really into it, you feel? And I remember when I was like in fourth grade, I was like, let me not watch none of this anime, um, that weird stuff. I was like, let me go watch basketball. Let me go play basketball. And that was because there wasn't really any Asian role models except like Jeremy Lin. So I was like, I'm gonna be like Jeremy. I wanna go be Jeremy. And like, that was just one of my goals to go I, I look up to Jeremy Lin I'm not gonna lie I look up to the dude a lot he is one of my role models so Jeremy Lin if you ever watch this video bro I, please like hit me up I love you um but Jeremy Lin is like one of my role models because like there was no other Asian role models so with that being said fun fact the reason why I do what I do is because I want to make a name for the Asian community because as I said this is embarrassing for me to say but growing up I was embarrassed to be Asian so that's why I didn't watch anime. That's why I didn't embrace my culture. Now it's like, fuck that. I'm Asian. I'm going to fucking smoke that shit. Like, this is how I was born. That, this is how I was raised. You know what I'm saying? I can't change it. So I'm just like, that's just who I am. And that's why I want to make a name for the Asian community. Because I want to show little Asian kids like me, Asian little girls, Asian little guys, that you guys can do anything that y'all want. So that's one of my biggest goals is just, just make a name for the Asian community and show Asian kids that you can do whatever you want, whether it is in sports, education, um, acting, um, entertainment, whatever it is. I want to just show Asian little kids that you can do it because just growing up, I didn't have any Asian role models. The only two Asian role models that I looked up to were kind of three were Jeremy Lin, Ryan Higa, and Jackie Chan himself, the guy I was named after. So... That, that's, that was just a quick fun fact. So getting back on track in this video. So why an Asian guy like me never watched anime growing up? After the bullying and stuff like that. Because it was after I was like, ew, I'm not going to watch that. I don't want to be like a stereotypical Asian. That's when I gravitated more towards sports. Like, for example, Jeremy Lin with basketball. And then I couldn't play basketball because I was chubbier. So I naturally just went to move to play football. And with that being said, I found my love for football, and instead of me in my middle school years watching anime, I was just watching a lot of f sports, a lot of basketball, a lot of football, and that's when I fell in love with the Hawks, because I remember the Hawks lineup when it was Jeff Teague, Paul Millsap, Al Horford, those guys, and then with the Falcons, bro, I used to love the Falcons. I remember the whole lineup, it was Tony Gonzalez, Julio Jones, Roddy Wright, Matty Ice, Michael Turner, Jaquez Roger, fucking Jason Snelling, bro. I remember the whole fucking team. John Abraham, like, I just gravitated towards sports because I guess I wanted to fit in. And this is very embarrassing, I'm not gonna lie. I feel like this is a very, very embarrassing video for me to just admit that, like, I fell into 
the peer pressure, the bullying or whatever, the, the being scared of being bullied. I fell into the pressure of being scared of being bullied, so I didn't embrace my culture. That's an embarrassing ass thing to say, because I feel like nowadays it's just like, as an Asian, I'm proud. I'm proud of who I am. I'm proud of my parents. I'm proud of how, I'm proud of all the sacrifices that they made for me. I'm proud of the man that I've become. So I can't be mad at the past, at those kids that who were gonna bully me if I watched anime or stuff like that. Because if that didn't happen, I wouldn't be the man I am now and I wouldn't be doing what I'll be doing now. And in all honesty, I don't know if what I'm saying is making sense or anything, I hope it is. But I guess just to make a long story short, I feel like this video really didn't need to be this long. But to make a long story short, this Asian guy didn't watch anime growing up because he was scared to get bullied. He was scared of the stereotypes that people placed on Asians. He was just scared. And with that being said, it took a lot for me to even get interested into anime. Um, it wasn't even until like th this past year when I met my boys, Chris and Kyle, that was when I watched my first anime. And, and all, honestly, the first anime I ever watched was Demon Slayer. And that's why I love Demon Slayer. That's why I have all these figures um, of Demon Slayer. It's just sad to see that a lot of, like, cause, but I'm not gonna lie, a lot of these animes are fire, and a lot of them are mid, um, so stay tuned, I might make a tier list, who knows. But with that being said, the only true anime that I've watched from beginning to end so far is Demon Slayer. And I can truly say I really love Demon Slayer. The one thing I will say that I dislike is that I feel like it's kind of repetitive, but this is what saves it. The animation of Demon Slayer makes me want to bust. Hold up. Wait a minute. Something ain't right. But with that being said, like when I first watched Demon Slayer, it took me a minute because I was just like, oh, this anime, boo, boring, boo, tomato, tomato. Because I've already made up my mind. It's like, oh, anime's whack. And like, no, and in reality, anime's pretty fucking cool. I'm not finna cap. And after I watched my first anime, which is Demon Slayer, I was like, it's not fucking bad. It wasn't that bad. Um, I really enjoy Demon Slayer. My favorite episode is season one, episode 19. I think that's the one where Tanjiro fights the bad guy. I I'm not good with names, but I know Tanjiro. That's my boy. Um, I really love Demon Slayer. I've watched the first episode of Tokyo Revengers. I really like that. I watched the first episode of Naruto too, and I really like that too. So there's a lot of animes that I need to catch up on. Um, but I just don't have the time right now because of school. So, but when I graduate, stay tuned for that. But yes, that's why I have all these series of Demon Slayers because it was my first anime and the first anime that I really liked. Um, there was another anime that I started watching that I really didn't like, which was Hunter x Hunter. Um, in my opinion, the first couple of episodes were boring. My roommates and friends, Chris and Kyle, were saying that the first episodes are kind of boring. You just gotta let it ride out. I couldn't, it just got too boring. Um, what else? I don't even fucking know, like, any other animes, to be honest. So, if you guys got any anime recommendations, let me know. And if there's any girls out there that want to do anime and chill, hit me up, you know. <laughs> but, yeah, the point of this video is just basically to say that, like, growing up, I was embarrassed to be Asian. And that's why I didn't watch anime. I don't know, bro. I'm gonna be honest. This video, I feel like, is all over the place. I'm not gonna lie. Um... But I hope you guys enjoyed it. You guys got to know a little bit more about me. Um, but yeah, with that being said, I don't think I have anything else left to say. But yeah, like, if you guys want to see more videos about me just talking, let me know. I guess this is kind of like a story time. Um, I'm definitely going to clickbait the fuck out this video. But you know, you got to do what you got to do. But yeah, if you guys enjoyed today's video, you guys should go down. Leave a like, you know what I'm saying? Subscribe, you know what I'm saying? Share the video, you know what I'm saying? Comment, you know what I'm saying? Just do a little bit of everything, you know what I'm saying? For your boy, you know what I'm saying? For the trauma that I endured as a child. <laughs> but with that being said, if you guys want to see a video like this, but with K-pop, let me know down below. Um, because one of the things that I get asked the most is like what kind of Asian I am. And people always guess I'm Korean. I don't know what it is. I don't see it. I don't see myself as Korean, but yeah, I'm not gonna lie, I like some K-pop. So, if you guys wanna see a video like this but on K-pop, let me know down below. And yeah, with that being said, I hope you guys enjoyed this video, because I know it was all over the place. And yeah, I ain't got nothing else left to say, so subscribe, send your boys out.